hello guys and welcome to another one so people are asking me what they should be looking out for from naganin and as usual because i'm too lazy to reply to every single person who asks me questions whenever a few persons ask me a question i just make a video on it so i got my little baby account here my little t9 that I'm going to summon some on. i save these scrolls for nags. So I'll have a few here to look at. But I'm going to tell you guys the best thing about them really quickly. I would say they're the mushrooms and I will go into what I mean by that when we're actually doing so man why i'm summoning this from a tier 9 account is because it can give me the tier 7 ones too like this one here and this one also drops the special stuff but i have to hop back over to my main because i haven't codexed it fully on that baby account but now i have some oopsie <laughs> here we are so the codex looks like this and it just has a lot of standard stuff but it has some good stuff like if you it has some niche stuff for stuff that if you're doing this with that setup you'd use it and this could be literally anything because you know how metas change in the game so i always say collect all the items at ornate or if like you're swash the brokens or like whatever like elemental whatever and just have them there so berserk mushrooms are an easy one to get but i still like getting a surplus of them from here because you just want to pop berserk mushrooms if you can in any given situation if you need that extra strength so panacea is another good one though you can get those easily by just dungeoning but as someone who hardly dungeons anymore, I appreciate that I can get some of that. Fairy's Ring, as I said, one of those things that I can't think of a use for it right now. But maybe one day, maybe it has a use or maybe one day it will. You can pretty much just look it up and be the judge of that for yourself. The Soul Blade, uh, difficult to say. I would say the Smelly Shoes are every swash's best friend i believe they're tier eight they are and you want a broken and elemental version because that will make it so that you get the most benefit from the item as a swash and i even have an ornate one that i use with certain things when i want the immunity because i believe it has it has like um let me look it has toxic immunity or something oh it has blight immunity okay and it has poison immunity and it's this is a broken one so you see that it and this is also an elemental one so you see it has very little defense has immunities and also gives me the resistance to lightning so I would say that is the best item, like uh, equipment, it has. But um, you can make cases for other things because I I know people who use Naganin's hat for something. I know who people who use the Vandal's veil. I think for something. Um, Naganin's belt would be the other standout item here, and those are things that give you some. Uh, some re what do you call it no um status protection yeah so and it also makes it easier for you to apply statuses to your target so i really like this item but you don't really need them in quality because it does not scale you get a standard eight percent protection and a standard application that i'm not sure of i'm not sure if they've ever said 
but it does not scale with quality though i know some people think that items will change eventually because they have before so even these things if you're already farming for the the mushrooms and the good quality boots smelly shoes or whatever you could look for a good quality of this too or you could just keep a good quality if you run into it like just keeping good qualities of stuff if you run into them is always a good idea and it would give you like a hundred mana at perfect ornate as well as does it does, does the deck scale i'm actually not sure if the deck scales at ornate so i don't want to say it does because dex is one of those funny stats that sometimes scales and sometimes doesn't or like on adornments but this is equipment and it does scale on equipment unfortunately i don't have a better naganin's belt so i'll have to definitely check that out when i do i'm looking for the tier 9 one no 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 the tier 9 one has a beard yes hello haha <laughs> just checking if anything so he there are the arisen so for tier nines i think these things i think i meant the arisen versions when i was talking about them earlier because these are what some tier nines like the arisen naganin's hat i know that it has some type of immunity life is like a chess board okay i don't have it because obviously that's going to be garbage to me but it might have some type of use at some point you have you guys have to look at stuff ah the arisen fairies ring naganin's brew i love naganin's brew too i don't think i just saw it on the baby one's table but naganin's brew is there is one that gives you attack up these are the singles attack magic decks crit i believe and it gives you some status effects but when you're using something like the smelly mushroom and then you use a sour mushroom and you use a, a naganin's brew you're pretty much almost fully buffed up except defensively so it is really nice i really like them um spores are an interesting adornment so when taurus just came out i used them a bit to what would i say to help me to apply status effects to monsters because I was trying AOA build, AOE builds and they were they were they were pretty effective honestly in my opinion so that is up to you if you want to try it I would definitely say try it and see if you like it but it's not that important um i like the standard um potions too nothing special though i hardly use them to be fair i use a health one but it's is virtually useless hopefully one day we'll be able to craft multiple of them into something that like recovers twenty five thousand hp hint hint because even healing nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine with panacea that is a bit pointless like i don't see the point in that but um as i said the most important thing i will get to it now is in my opinion anyway the smelly mushroom and smelly mushroom is just so powerful not only does it give you offensive prowess it gives you defensive abilities too like it is just overall very strong it is one single item though it is two turns because you do have to use a panacea to clear the toxic so that is the only downside to it but once you've done that you are so strong now that you almost don't even need to do three or four other buffs so and usually when i'm using this buff i would be using it in place of something like mimics mischief which you know is so unpredictable and then you know that sometimes you'd need to use a panacea after mimics mischief regardless so i just take it that i need to use two turns and i will get attack prowess and defensive as well so that is how i look at it so it's like one fewer buff that is a sure buff 
and then I and I use them a lot in the towers honestly and I will be using them if I start playing a lot again in towers especially and once you start using them in towers you're going to understand just how important they are but it is up to you as I will say all the time to know what is effective in your style of play and what you enjoy doing and then we will decide for ourselves after that but i really like them and they're the most important thing in my opinion here um you have the arisen fairies tanto let me just briefly cover it it's like an offhand i can't really think of anywhere i'd recommend using it maybe in swash builds or something but as i said look at everything guys and you guys can even ask me in my server which will be in the description you can ask me in my server what i think and then i'll give the items a closer look and give you a more in-depth take on what i think about the item so yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching as usual if this was educational if this helped at all you can drop a like thank you to my patrons as usual you got the lux you got orban and bear you got Eren. You got Daishi, you got Makana, you got Technique, you got Night Sky, you got my server boosters, Eren, uh, Yezer, and Potion. Thank you guys so much as usual, and yeah, take care of yourselves guys as usual, and keep your head up. Keep your head up. This is going to be a great year.